When we are young, teachers will remind us to treasure natural resources as it will eventually use up one day. Therefore, the prices of these resources will keep appreciating. However, historically we have seen big volatility in crude oil prices. So what are the real reasons behind it? The supply will affect the oil prices. For example, if we discover a new oil field which is an abundance of natural resources, this increased supply and will cause a drop in the oil prices. Conversely, reducing supply of oil will make the prices increase. For example, in 1973 to 1974, the U.S. production of oil reached its maximum, which caused the production process to slow down and the oil prices rose from $5.4 a barrel to $17 per barrel. This is the famous oil crisis in the 70s. The demand as well as the economic growth will affect the oil prices. During recession, people will consume less and the production sectors will slow down all production in order to cut costs. As a result, the demand for crude oil drops and conversely the oil prices. For instance, in year 2000, the industrial sectors grew rapidly which pulled up the demand. Together with the effect of Middle East political crisis, the oil prices rose drastically and led to the energy crisis in year 2000. War will also affect the oil prices. It is because oil has been served as a technical reserve which is essential for wars. Especially when there are wars happening in the oil producing countries, it may lead to a shortage of oil supply and cause the oil prices to rise. The US dollar will also affect the oil prices. As most of the oil prices are priced in US dollar, and oil prices will drop when US dollar appreciates. Assuming $100 USD can purchase a barrel of cool oil, due to the expectation of the dollar to appreciate so we can purchase more crude oil in the future. Thus, the attractiveness of oil today will drop conversely the oil prices. For example, during the US subprime crisis in 2007, the US dollar depreciated along with the effect of energy crisis. Oil prices rose to a historic high, reaching $147 per barrel. Drilling requires both time and monetary costs, such as salaries and machineries. When oil prices drop below the production cost, producers will cut down any production or the business itself. The supply will drop and cause the oil prices to rebound. This is the reason why the drilling costs are so important to oil prices. For example, during 2015 and 2016, the U.S. crude dropped from $112 a barrel to $26. Many oil companies shut down. The demand of oil then self-regulated after cutting the supply and the oil prices eventually rebounded. As a result, there are many reasons behind the movement of oil prices. Some have short-term effects, others can last for a long period of time. Being able to understand the underlying reasons is extremely insightful in predicting the trends of oil prices.